Hey everyone, it's September 16th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with Finnish serial killer Mati Hapoya, who murdered at least three, but likely many more victims in the late 1800s. And that is him right up there, and I'd like to apologize for my terrible Finnish pronunciation. Born in Finland in 1845, when it was part of the Russian Empire, Hapoya grew up to be a horse thief and commonly engaged in bar fights. Often suffering beatings at the hands of his alcoholic father and older brother, he refused to attend school unless forced to do so, and once was placed in a wooden cage and dragged there like an animal. Hapoya set off on his own at the age of 11 and worked menial jobs before falling in with a rough crowd, robbing people to get by. He first killed a man in 1867, stabbing him to death during a drunken melee at a wedding, being sentenced to 12 years in prison for the offense. But he escaped four times over the next decade, spending long stretches of time out of prison, with the media taking note of his ability to escape and evade capture, thus becoming a cause celeb in Scandinavia. In 1874, Hapoya was sentenced to life in prison for his exploits. During an escape in 1876, he robbed and shot at a friend of his who had been hiding him in his home, and after being captured once again, he petitioned to have his prison sentence changed to exile in Siberia. The courts agreed, and he was sent to Omsk in 1880. While staying there, he killed a man in 1886, causing him to be exiled to East Siberia, which apparently was an even more brutal place. While in East Siberia, he reportedly killed two Finnish criminals, also in exile, but record-keeping that era was rather poor, so we don't really know what happened. In 1889, Hapuya grew tired of Siberia and returned to Finland, claiming that he wanted to emigrate to America. He had committed a string of robberies and murders along the way, killing at least three men and obtaining the passport of another who was never found. A month after his return to Finland, he robbed and killed a prostitute, which led to his capture. He confessed to this murder at his trial, as well as to a number of murders in Siberia, hoping to be sent back there, but instead he was sent to a Finnish prison. Hapoya tried to escape, as he had done many times previously, killing a guard and stabbing two others in the process. He was ultimately unsuccessful, and realizing that he would actually be stuck there for the rest of his life, he stabbed himself seven times. The wounds weren't fatal, but as soon as Hapoya recovered, he hanged himself in his cell in 1895. His skeleton was on display at the Museum of Crime in Vanta until 1995, when it was finally buried. It's unclear exactly how many victims Hapoya had, but there are reports that he confessed to 18 murders, and some estimate that he killed as many as 25. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so you can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Mati Hapoya, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.